What is up guys? Welcome back to Avengers Infinity War Week, Marvel Week, whatever you want to call it. Today I'm going to be ranking all the Marvel superheroes in the MCU. All the heroes that I've really picked that aren't heroes in my eyes. Now of course, a lot of this has to be thanks to Sean Chandler because he came up with this idea. I think it's a cool idea, so I thought I'd bring it up for Avengers Infinity War, re-rank them after seeing the film. And if you guys did miss my review for that, go check it out as well. I really like the film and I did not spoil it. My spoiler review will be up Saturday. But guys... Let's get straight into this ranking list. But also, I want to hear about your list down below, so go check out the characters down below in the bio and leave me a list of how you would rank them. Coming in at number 25 is going to be Quicksilver. He's just okay. I, I do like Aaron Taylor Johnson as well. I think he's a very good actor. I think he does a good job with Quicksilver. I just think he was never really sh elevated enough for him. I think he was really much just a ploy for Scarlet Witch's character to move forward without him. He was a cool character in a sense, and I liked his powers, but I think after seeing X-Men and seeing the quicksilver they had i think that one just tops this one overall coming at number 24 is going to be mantis i need to see more mantis before i can really give into she does have some pretty cool scenes in avengers infinity war and she's actually really just has a cool power to her i i like mantis i like the portrayal of her and i think going down further in the line if she is in other films i would pretty much like to see what she does i think she has cool dynamics with her in the characters and coming in number 23 this might be a controversial pick but i have nick fury at number 23 yes he's played by motherfucking samuel jackson but the reason i have nick fury at number 23 for me personally he's not in the films enough after the phase one he's really just phased out of these films i know he's gonna be in captain marvel which may make me bump him back up on the list but i think nick fury is a cool character i think nick fury is a freaking samuel jackson playing him is a great pick but i just need more of him to really elevate him more onto this list and number 22 is gonna be hawkeye again another character that i wish just got more love after age of ultron i thought they would have elevated him more but even in civil war he's kind of just shoot in them really not being in the marketing of avengers infinity war i think hawkeye's a cool character and jeremy runner portrays him really well i just don't think he's gotten that enough screen time i think he'd actually work better in the netflix marvel universe to be honest and coming in number 21 is gonna be war machine don Cheadle comes back to play roadie and let me tell you i i actually like war machine i think he's a cool character the reason he's so low on my list is even though i like his banter back with iron man i love his charisma his charm to him i've just always looked at him as another Iron Man, and for me, he's not Robert Downey Jr. Don't get me wrong, I think Don Shooter does a good job in the role, he does have some good memorable moments, especially in Avengers Infinity War. He actually has two pretty cool scenes in there, but I just never, he never sticks out to me as the character. He's just that good sidekick to Iron Man. I mean, at number 20 is going to be Foul. Ken, played by Anthony Mackie, and Falcon has good charisma, good charm to him, and he has some pretty badass moments, especially in Captain Winter Soldier when he was portrayed and debuted out, and even in the films coming down later the round of the road. Falcon is a cool character, and he's a cool core member to the Avengers team and to just the MCU in general. I think Anthony Mackie has a lot more into him for going into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I can't wait to see what they do with his character. I Again, just another one of those characters that I feel like I just need to see more of him to really move him up on my list. Coming at number 19, another controversial pick, but I have Vision at number 19. Another character we haven't seen a lot of lately. I do like Paul Bettany playing him. I think it's cool that they got the voice of Jarvis to really portray him. Um, Vision, you know, he pretty much picked up Thor's hammer. Well, he didn't. He handed it to Thor. So he is a worthy one, which was another cool element to that. I, I really just overall really like Vision and the way Paul Bettany portrays him, the way he has this relationship with Scarlet, which is very unique. And it makes you care about Vision himself. He's just a very cool character, but still I, he, for some reason the other heroes really topple him on this one coming at number 18 is gonna be drax the destroyer now after the first guardians of the galaxy i would have put this dude like way higher i think dave batista does a fantastic job playing drax my one big issue with drax now is that he's really just the comedic relief and i think he should be having more action given in avengers infinity war when you guys do see it he does have some pretty d damn cool moments in there but again he's used as the comedic relief and i just i don't see him as being the comedic relief he acted stupid and that's what really made him funny but in some cases sometimes he's a little bit too stupid now and maybe that's just how his character is but i i think dave batista can do more with the character of drax but i i did enjoy drax and i think he's a pretty cool addition to the guardian coming in at number 17 is gonna be shuri yes black panther's sister i really just like shuri's personality and character i think if she was in these films more if she and i'm pretty sure she probably will be because of how good of a debut she had in black panther with what are those that was such a great scene i just loved her humor in black panther in general and i just love how shuri's character is portrayed throughout all the marvel films so far that we've seen her in she just has a good portrayal she's played great by latini right and I, again this is i want to see a buddy thing with her and spider-man i love their i want to see their dynamic back and forth i think that'd be great but overall shuri she she's adorable she's great and i think she's just a great addition to see what she's going to bring to the mcu coming into number 16 this is going to be ant-man 
I like Ant-Man. I think he's a really cool character. I think Paul Rudd portrays him perfectly. I th I love Ant-Man's powers. I like that he can go giant now, especially in Civil War. That was a great crowd-pleasing moment, and it's a great comic book moment to see the least on screen. But my thing about Ant-Man is he's really kind of fallen off the list, given he was in Civil War, given he was in his own Ant-Man movie. He has his own next movie coming out, which is totally fine with me, and I need to see those. He could easily get bumped back up onto this list. It's just for me, Ant-Man, he's a cool character. He has a good humor to him, and he, I think he's really just the tiniest of the heroes, but also the smallest and the most underrated. And number 15 is going to be the Winter Soldier. Now, the reason he's so low on this one, but the villains list, he was a little bit higher. I looked at him more as a villain, and given Bucky Barnes is now a hero, I just don't think we've still got enough dynamics with him throughout the rest of the films after him pretty much fixing his head. I think I'm going to start liking Bucky more. I love this portrayal of Sebastian Stan. I think he's a very underrated actor, and I think the way that he portrays Bucky is fantastic. His dynamic with Steve Rogers is great. Just he falls at number 15 for me. I mean, number 14 is going to be Akoya. Akoya stood out to me the second she came on screen. She is a badass. The way she takes that wig, throws it at the guy, and stabs him in Black Panther, which is another great moment. She has great moments in Avengers Infinity War, and I can't wait to see where they take her character. You know, she's portrayed by Michonne from Walking Dead, and I think she was a perfect casting for Akoya. She's a great back and forth with Black Panther. She's just like this big sister that watches over him and it, it's just great you see the emotion in her eyes you see how much she cares about these characters and i i just really like akoya's character i think she's probably the biggest standout for me at least from black panther that i think a lot of people will miss out on when they're talking about eric killmonger and coming in at number 13 is going to be scarlet witch after avengers infinity war i'm not going to say what she does i'm not going to say how cool she is well, I'll say she is a pretty damn cool character. She's already shown us some cool moments, but she is powerful. And after Avengers Infinity War, I she stood out way more to me, and I cannot I hope to see more of her. Seriously, I really do. Either a prequel, either other missions that she goes on with this secret Avengers that I'm guessing Steve Rogers put together. Scarlet Witch is like fantastic. I love her character. And number twelve is gonna be the incredible Hulk! Hulk for me has never stood out for me. He's never been one of my favorite Avengers, but when he can Hulk smash, he Hulk smashes. He's great in Thor Ragnarok. He has some of the best humor in there. He's great in the first Avengers. I mean, when he punches the Leviathan, one of the best moments in the MCU. I love it. And number 11 is going to be Yondu. Now, given I'm very impartial to Yondu because I love Michael Rooker, you can tell him right here, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Yondu is just a very fun character he has a great thing the way he whistles and the arrow just flings around is great he can get a kd of 5.6 on call of duty this guy is a badass he's a menace and he kicks ass plus he just has great humor and i just love his dynamics with star lord we in the number 10 is gonna be gamora a daughter of thanos I think Gamora, the way that she's portrayed by Zoe Saldana is fantastic. I think especially the, the dynamic she actually has within Avengers Infinity War adds more to the character arcs of her and Star-Lord and her and Thanos and her and her daddy issues. And just the way she Gamora is portrayed in these films is great. And I think she's so high up after seeing Avengers Infinity War, just the arc that she has in that film, she is brilliant in the role. And I love the character of Gamora so, 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 so much. We get number nine is going to be Black Widow Scarlet. Dre Hansen's character. This is a character who I have always think has been underrated. It's a character who deserves her own solo movie and really is just great. I mean, Scarlett Johansson has always portrayed her great. She was one of the best parts of Iron Man 2, one of the weakest films in the MCU, and just, she's such a badass, the way she flips, the way she kicks, the way she hits. It, it, she's just great. I, I love the look of her. I love the thing, and let me tell you, I wasn't on board with that blonde hair, but after seeing her in Avengers Infinity War, I'm like, damn, girl, I like it. I mean, number eight is gonna be Black Panther. Now, after Black Panther, he probably would have been like very high up for me. But again, the rest of the heroes that are up on this list after Avengers Infinity War, they all have moments that are just like psh, mind blown. But Black Panther is another great addition to these characters. When his moments in Avengers Infinity War is great, I'm not going to spoil them. We're just going to talk about Black Panther since it's already been out. And again, you're probably, if you haven't seen Black Panther, you're like 1.1% of the people who've never seen it. He's just great in the role. In Civil War, he's a badass. He, he's just great. The dynamic with Wakanda in general, the way he brings you in and you just love Chadwick Boseman in the role. And the fact of how good Chadwick Boseman betrays this guy with the way his voice is, the way he brings that accent apart, it makes you forget and just engrosses you more into this. Black Panther, his suit's cool. I, that's just the way he fights. He is a superhero of them all. And coming in at number seven is going to be Star-Lord. Who? Star-Lord, man, come on. Peter Quill himself, I just love Chris Pratt's portrayal. I, I think a lot of this has to be the, the fact that I love Chris Pratt. He's one of my favorite actors in Hollywood, and I love Parks and Rec, and, you know, 
Star Lord is Star Lord. He's a great Chris Pratt was the perfect choice to play Star Lord, and just the music that he brings in here, the humor, the dialogue, the depth that he brings within Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two was great with his father Ego, and just you get that this guy he's half human, half planet. I guess or celestial i think that's what they're called star lord i love the look of him i love the mask i just like his personality and he's one of the reasons that he sticks out so well into the mcu and number six is gonna be rocket and groot now i, I know this is kind of cheat that i paired them together but really they are a pair together it doesn't matter if it's baby groot teenage groot or adult Groot, you know, it's it, it, they're just a great dynamic together, and they always have some of the best moments in there, whether we are Groot, I am Groot, Rocket making fun of them, or you, someone calling him a trash panda. I think Bradley Cooper portraying Rocket, at first I was very iffy on it, but once I saw the film, I was like, nope, Bradley Cooper is great, and I just I just adore this, these, these pairings. They're great to see on screen together, and they're some of the best, and the fact is the CGI. I did not mention this in my Avengers Infinity War review. Rocket looks superb in Avengers. And number five is going to be Doctor Strange range big pro from him is the way he's bumped up here is because of avengers i again no spoilers not talking about why he's in there but i'll just say he has some pretty awesome scenes in here but really just talking about his film he is one of the most dynamic characters one of the most different characters he possesses the time stone the way he moves his hands the way just the wizardly like and the magic in there just adds a lot of cool things for dr strange i like how he has good banter back and forth with iron man he really is a smart guy in general and just the way the world that he brings into with dr strange's world and the mythical stuff it, it's just excellent and it's a different genre of the mcu that we've just been introduced to and dr strange is just going to open up a whole new world for us and number four is going to be captain america steve rogers himself i love the portrayal of what chris does with this role i think he's fantastic and the character arc for me i do think that even though captain america has pretty much had the best trilogy in the mcu he is one of the best character arcs throughout the mcu you see and you understand each and every movie why he's doing what he's doing why he's where he where he's at and you see this in avengers infinity war you see where he's at in civil war you see him in winter soldier the guy is great in the role his action sequences are pretty much the best and he went from boy scout to badass and i mean that the first avengers he was pretty much my least favorite avenger and now he's up there with one of my favorites coming in at number three this might be one of my favorite heroes of all time but i'm really just ranking him in the mcu in general and that is spider-man tom holland is the perfect spider-man you guys have heard me say this he's great he's great in avengers infinity war with his iron spider-man suit he's great in spider-man homecoming and he was a huge standout in civil war I love Spider-Man so, so, so much. I just can't wait to see the sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming. I think he just has great dynamics with all the heroes involved here. And the best thing about Spider-Man for me is he really just feels like that comic iteration that I grew up on. And just is one of my favorite things to see into the MCU. I, I really cannot wait to see what they do more with the Peter Parker character with Spider-Man himself. And what villains they might introduce here and there. But I just overall love Tom Holland in the role. And I think he's fantastic. And Spider-Man comes at number three for me. And number two is going to be Thor. Now Thor, again, is one of those characters where i think he's had some of the weakest films but chris hemsworth portrays him so damn well he is so good as the role of thor thor ragnarok even though i'm not the biggest fan of the film i do think it's a lot of fun i think thor in there is great and seriously a lot of the reason he's so high up now is because avengers infinity war i'm just gonna leave it there he's one of the biggest standouts of that film coming in at number one it's the man who started it all my boy robert downey jr as iron man tony stark you know he's the reason he started the mcu iron man has always been one of the characters that really gravitated me to him i always thought he was a b rated hero but when he came in and stormed into that first movie he was fantastic iron man is just one of the best and again he gets bumped up a lot because a lot of the moments he has in avengers infinity war that i'm not going to talk about but really if you just look at any of the moments he's had in the other films he has great humor he has great dialogue he has a great relationship with pepper Potts, which is one of the only few relationships i actually really care about in these marvel movies but i just overall i love tony stark i love his portrayal and iron man is just always gonna be number one for me in the mcu he is fantastic as that's my list of all the marvel heroes i'm gonna be putting this down down below in the comments so i want you guys to comment down below and rank them how you guys would i'm curious to hear what, hear what your guys' list would be i know it's gonna be completely different it's a very hard list to make but thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video make sure to hit the like and subscribe button especially if you're new so you guys don't miss out on any other M avengers videos this week also make sure to go check out all my other social media links so you guys talk more geeky stuff on those and of course you guys want to go check out sandwich on films down below that's where you guys can win advanced movie screen tickets go check out some movie news and movie reviews but until next time stay classy